Our next presenter is Yushuan Huang from Earth and Environmental Engineering, who will present Ion Selective Membrane Separations for Water Energy Environment Nexus. Thank you. Separation is an important process that everyone needs to handle every day. For example, picking the wanted commodities from a mixture of others in the grocery stores and supermarkets. So do the water and energy industries. In wastewater, natural water, and other water sources, they are not just water inside, but also many ions, the charged species. Some ions, they are useful resources, so we want to recover them, like the lithium ion, which is essential for many electric devices and the green energy nowadays. Some are, however, harmful to human beings. For example, the lead ions, we definitely want to kick them out of the drinking water to avoid the tragedy of faint water crisis. To achieve the desired separations, one promising way is to use ion exchange membranes, which are essentially very thin films that contain charges. In other words, they are also charged species like ions in the water. One fundamental principle for those charged stuff is that for two objects with the same charge sign, both positive or both negative, they repel each other. But if one positive and one negative, they attract each other. Based on that, ion exchange membranes are able to allow the opposite charged ions to go through, but repel the like charged ions. This feature has enabled wide applications of such membranes. But what if the ions we want to separate, they are similar? They have the same charge sign, even the same charge number. For example, the XYZ ions on the top of the slide, they all carry one positive charge. This is actually beyond the ability of current ion exchange membranes. In other words, we need to figure out new mechanisms other than the charge repair and charge retraction. This is my thesis work, to advance current membranes towards more ion-selective membranes. So, how to achieve the selectivity we want? Although I mentioned those target ions, they are similar, they are not 100% the same. So there are still some small differences which we can make use of. For example, I change the microstructure in the membrane, like making the door smaller, so that smaller ions can get more go through, but a bit larger ions, they'll get all impeded. I also modify the membrane materials, so that a certain type of the ion can go through it more easily, like climbing a small hill, but other ions, they will need to climb a high mountain. The result, the knowledge we learned here can tell us what is happening behind ion separation and guide us to make more selective membranes. Meeting the demands of ion, sep ion separations can contribute to the sustainable management of water and relevant resources to us. That means, for example, sufficient supply of materials for production and use and a safe water to drink. Thank you. <laughs>